Now what we are going to do again I do not need it but I will just uh, start with this ok. So, this flow chart kind of thing that I am going to follow. Mm. So, Gibbs gave us this ensemble and Gibbs gave us the equal probability ergodic hypothesis ergodic hypothesis to an extent was already in Boltzmann, but this was all in this ensemble. That means every, every system has a constant number of particles n, constant volume v and all of them have the same energy. So, you can immediately realize that this constant energy constraint is not practical. Okay. Because your system is an interaction with surrounding media, the kind of A I gave that if this my huge my number of with water glass they are in, I cannot keep them in NVE, I can keep them in NVT, but even NVT is difficult, I can keep them in NPT much more easily that is what a chemist works, number of particles known, constant pressure and temperature. So, this ensemble is called micro canonical ensemble. This is then graduated to or generalized to canonical ensemble. and then goes to other things that we will not right now do not need them. So, this is NVE and this is NVT for the time being to enough because we now want to develop try to develop the conceptual uh, of these things why we need them and how do you work with them. So, when the micro ensemble remember ensemble is a huge number of mental replica and the whole idea of ensemble was that I can talk of a probability that was uh, uh, introduced by uh, Maxwell L. Boltzmann. Now probability of and I already have my um, equal a priori probability. So, I need to have now, how do I go ahead? How do I now calculate or construct a quantity which can be now given will lead me to thermodynamics? The first attempt statistical mechanics did to you know it was immediately realized it was immediately realized by all these great thinkers that the first demand on statistical mechanics is to derive uh, thermodynamics because that is the one that is those days or even now explains every all natural phenomena in terms of free energy, entropy, enthalpy all these things. So, statistical mechanics was geared from the beginning to describe thermodynamics. So, now the idea is now I have the NVE, I have a huge number of systems all have constant energy all have volume V and all have total number of particles. So, what is different from one system to another system in the ensemble? The difference from one system to another system is in the microscopic state. Each system is in the different microscopic state. That is the most critical realization. Then you immediately realize that what could be and very important quantity some it was realized by uh, Boltzmann very critical quantity is the total number of microscopic states. Now, what is the total number of microscopic states? How do I uh, calculate total number of microscopic states? And this is a pivotal quantity from which what I am going to tell to you from which whole statistical mechanics came out that the the uh, total number of microscopic states. Mm.
how we calculate it will come a little later. So, if I know that a system, now let us think this, this there is a one single, in, in real world there is one, only one system, ensemble is my mental replica. Now, my this system, particles in this system are moving, they are ran, com, randomly moving, they are interacting with each other, they are changing positions, they are rotating and each of this tiny little movement is taking it from one microscopic state to another microscopic state. Now, it does not take too long to realize that if a system has much more microscopic state, then the system resides in that state longer time. Let me tell you something very important, again I repeat these things. If a system in a given NVT condition has larger number of microscopic states, then the system they are this all same energy. So, the system will spend maximum amount of time there. Now, what is then the measure that that state, that particular microscopic state, that macroscopic state which has maximum number, maximum weight or will dominate. Uh, so, it is almost like theory of evolution in certain sense. Uh, will, will, so, that is where this came from Boltzmann and used by Gibbs is that this omega, omega has to be a property, it has to be a property, I will give a derivation, uh, but the derivation is again uh, heuristic derivation, it has to be a property which scales with the size of the system in a certain specific way. We all know that thermodynamic properties like entropy, enthalpy are extensive. That means they are proportional to the number of particles in the system. Okay. Now, this thing is enormously large quantity. So, the Boltzmann introduced and this will become more this is the Boltzmann formula. I will motivate it little bit more, but uh, let me tell you also just like the postulates, there is no absolutely convincing derivation of this and probably there is no need, many of these things have been verified uh, post facto, but I before I motivate further, let me tell you little bit more about how this omega comes about. And as I tell you that this, uh, as I talk, let me repeat that this is, that one formula is the most important formula of the statistical mechanics, whole statistical mechanics came from that, okay. So, this is a very simple my picture of getting the, uh, giving you an idea of the, in a, in a microcanonical ensemble the number of microscopic states that you have. So, I have this four energy levels and four energy levels and uh, total energy is fixed eight, how many way I can distribute that. So, these are the here you can distribute your system into, so arrows are the systems, I am talking of ensemble and these are the microscopic, these are all distinct microscopic states, okay. And I have taken care of distinguishability or indistinguishability. So, each of them is one state. Now, what happens if I increase the number of, uh, number of particles in the system? If I increase the number of particles in this uh, number of number of systems uh, with the energy E fixing it, then there are many more ways to arrange it. Similarly, if I can increase the number of energy levels, then again many more ways would do it, okay. Very soon in the real world, uh, in when the atoms and molecules are moving, there is a huge number of energy levels, huge number of energy levels available to the system. A 1 cc of a gas at normal temperature 
you can calculate and Macquarie's book has given a way of that we discussed it as 10 to the power 33 microscopic states. That is the kind of huge number you are talking. Okay. So, that is also the difficulty of doing computer simulation because there is a huge number of microscopic states one has to sample. So, the microscopic states increase what we call exponentially as the uh, as the size of the system size of the system by meaning that the energy level. So, two things are coming energy levels of the system are determined by the system itself by the interactions for example, by Schrodinger equation. So, I am having a self consistency here because I am going taking a system then calculating its all the energy levels then I am doing a uh, ensemble construction is a very pretty very beautiful. Then I am going the ensemble construction I am saying ok I have the energy levels now now let me see my I have infinite number of billions and billions of my system which I am going to distribute with the constraint that energy is conserved. This is NVE ok. I realize very quickly that number of states that have number of um, uh, arrangements the my omega is, 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 is growing exponentially. You can do a simple calculation to show that that it can uh, simple combinatorics that it grows exponentially. As soon as that grows exponentially and I know my thermodynamic properties are determined dictated and determined by omega. So, in that case I am now having a beginning to have certain insight that I, I want to describe thermodynamics and I want to have an extensivity. Then I want to preserve the extensive property and I want to preserve what is the scaling. So, this is now why it is entropy and that came from a much much complicated and detailed derivation of uh, Boltzmann that why ln omega was given to uh, at constant energy and volume is entropy that is uh, uh, the way it turns out that this is the uh, you can regard that this quantity ln omega omega is more fundamental and ln omega is the quantity that we call entropy. So, this is essentially a definition of entropy. Do not consider it as though it went like that entropy came first and then came omega, but for statistical mechanics it is other way around omega is the primary quantity and that determines entropy. So, it is just exactly the other way around. Now, there is a derivation that is given in many many places and I will just sketch the derivation though as I told you this you better you can uh, regard as well as a postulate and sometimes when I teach in class I say statistical mechanics should actually be considered consist of three postulates and one hypothesis and one of them this is the postulate uh, because in, in many sense there is no really strict uh, sense derivation of this, but whatever. So, this is the uh, uh, A of omega uh, ok. The derivation is sketched here and this is the derivation given in every textbook that you define an entropy function. So, this is the derivation is given in my book and uh, the standard derivation in every textbook is you define your function entropy function in terms of probability. The energy levels that I discussed that and your my systems 0, 1, 2, 3 uh, I think I, have, I remember that I have 2 here uh, 4 and 2 here uh, 1 just there are many like that one of them. Now, so define this function this what actually also came from Boltzmann 
and I have some interesting tale to tell you that I will uh, So, basic idea was that I define a function which is proportional to the probability it is occupied, it is probability of the system, system in a jet energy level because these are systems, arrows are systems, they are systems of my ensemble. Again, my energy levels are obtained by solving Schrodinger equation or even classical mechanics by all the positions and momenta available to the system which is called the phase space. We described little bit of phase space in the last class and trajectory. So, they are obtained from a given system. Now, I construct my mental replica and put my systems, my arrows into different energy levels. Okay. So, once I do that, uh, since they are all equally probable, I can find out what is the probability my system is in a, in a given energy level j. Then I construct this quantity. So, now then the derivation says okay, they are all equally probable. So, P j is uh, so it is minus K b all all the sums are the same probability is the same. So, if there are n number of uh, uh, total number of uh, um, uh, arrangements and probability is uh, L n omega and uh, by P is 1 over N s because each of the equally probable. So, this cancels and then it becomes uh, uh, P g L n P g. P g is 1 over omega, uh, P g is 1 over omega sorry. So, this cancels and then that becomes the 1 goes to 0 and minus L n minus L n 1 over omega minus so plus K b L n omega. So, this is the standard derivation that comes to textbook that A is equal to K b but even then even in this derivation which is heuristic but it does bring in little bit more more physics in the whole thing that you derive a function. So, this is the entropic function. This function defines entropy is the function that it defines microcanonical ensemble. This is the this is the beginning of thermodynamics, a uh, beginning of statistical mechanics actually or uh, a relation between statistical mechanics or a relation of be, uh, uh, you know perhaps the most important relation where everything flow from or this one relation that uh, is equal to k v l in omega. Uh, uh. Because, because every state is equally probable. Huh? Uh, see what, what, what the reason I am little bit fumbling is because uh, when When statistical mechanics was formulated, um, Boltzmann and uh, then Gibbs, you have to understand that the theory of probability was almost entirely developed in the mathematics. Uh, they are developed in a great extent by 19th century already. So, the people and then they had both Boltzmann and Gibbs had the understanding that they are going to look at a extensive property okay. and their new probability is going to scale probably to 1 over omega, but omega is going to scale as the something to the power n. Okay. So, that brings the lock term. So, the whole motivation of introducing lock term there and I am again and again saying this is a definition of entropy function. It remains to be shown this A's is indeed thermodynamic entropy and that was done later. So, this was introduced as a function, Boltzmann definition this was H, it was not A's, it was shown by Gibbs that this function is the ace and we are using it as ace. Okay. And I told you that I will say you something really interesting. The interesting thing is that ace is proportional to ln omega and proportional constant kb is Boltzmann constant. 
nobody yet knows why it is why kb is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus i think uh, 17 no uh, no he caught in minus k but he has in, this was the his arrow of time so let's not get into that yeah so that's why i didn't want you here okay a is equal to kb l and omega this is introduced i would like to tell as as the primary postulate of statistical mechanics but you can say no this is an a function defined by ln omega and it has to be ln omega because omega is an exponential function of the total number of particle size of the system so it must scale as it must be omega ln that brings in u a to the power n n comes out and entropy is an extensive property Okay, and this as I said that the people there very quickly realize that thing. But again, I am not trying to justify that. The justification of that is KBL and omega S is indeed the uh, describes the fundamental equation of state of thermodynamics and entropy. That is the a detailed derivation of that exist in, in a transition from statistical mechanics to thermodynamics. That thing will do in the next class where we will we'll, we'll, we'll see how A is equal to KBL and omega can, uh, can indeed describe thermodynamics that is that is a you know still unfinished agenda that is the thing we need to do next to convince you that S is indeed the entropy. Once that is done and as I told you this only equation that you need no other equation you need. From there you go to my canonical ensemble, you go to grand canonical ensemble, you isothermal isobaric ensemble, everything omega because you realize immediately that the properties that will come that macroscopic properties that particular state of the system which will have maximum omega. Maximum omega means maximum entropy. Stable state free energy is minimum that also follows from this. So, whole of thermodynamics follows from that one equation entire in, in, in entirety which is amazing. No, these are all interactive, these are not what I said, what I said is it is the when Maxwell did it the ideal gas that is see whole kind of theory of gases that you read in your undergraduate is for ideal gas. So, in ideal gas means particles pass through each other, but that was not allowed. So, he derived PV equal to nRT, then he derived um, uh, uh, pressure equal to one third mnc square. They are all ideal gas, but at the same time he allows the exchange of momentum with the wall, which is a billiard ball. So, there is a mix of interaction and non-interaction, which is fuzzy, very fuzzy. That is not the way, but that is why Maxwell did and got the right results. Uh, Boltzmann that is what led Boltzmann to remove the inconsistency in Maxwell and try to introduce the interaction. If I ever teach time driven and stat mac, then I always start with Boltzmann kinetic equation. That means the F2, F2, that I am, that is where you take a two particle collision and F2, which is two particle joint power distribution of R1, R2, P1, P2, and by interaction that is changing. But that then you explicitly have the collision and there is a term that comes in called collision or cross section which has molecular diameter in it. See in kinetic theory of gases you do not need uh, pressure PV nRT, PV nRT does not have a molecular diameter ok. Then uh, all these equipment do not have except when you go to calculate the viscosity then you need the molecular diameter. Maxwell the kinetic theory of gases is many many places internally inconsistent. That was Boltzmann tried to do and, and he could do only partly. But these are very good issues and very fundamental issues that we bypass in our undergraduate physical chemistry. But I always believe the interface between equilibrium and time dependent statistical mechanics is one of the most fundamental and most intellectually exciting and pleasing uh, to think about these things. Mm. Okay, dokie, we stop here now.